just wanted to record a video because I did get asked um, a question a long time ago on uh, ask.com, ask.fm, whatever, same thing, and um, I know I did said I didn't want to be here for this whole week because of the giveaway, but I did have to make this video just because, I don't know, when the person's going to have a date, maybe they already did, and they needed this advice. So the question was, and I'm going to look for it because I don't want to say something that maybe she didn't ask for. The question was, can you do a video about what should happen in a first date with a boy? So obviously, I'm guessing this is a girl who's asking me about this. And, well... There's a lot of ways that I can say different things, but for this specific video, you guys are going to see that maybe my eyes look weird and I'm not looking around, but I did write it down because I tried doing a video at first and it, it was just like a mess. Like I said something and then I came back to it. So I just wanted to go by order of what I'm going to say. So definitely... I'm going to do a video for you guys and I'm really, really, really excited about this. But, so let's begin, right? So what should happen on a first date? I think the first date to me is the most magical day. So hopefully that person and you have been getting to know each other through tags, um, I guess walking around in school, I don't know, however you guys get to know each other and now it's time to actually spend time one on one with each other so that's I think the most magical time most magical date you're gonna have ever and personally I feel like the first date is the most important date because you get to see how the person dresses which is not important but well it is because the way someone dresses the way they are just gives you a little bit more knowledge of who they are sorry I got cut but also um, how they act upon different situations how they are how they talk the way they speak the way they address you it, it all counts okay so make sure you guys are evaluating that my first date with my boyfriend we had a movie night it was in my best friend's house and it was with all my best friends my Fijis were there and he came and you know he knows certain people because I guess we were in the same group and we just didn't really know and I think that's one of the best things to do to be able to have like your best friend in them just so that they're looking because, I, I mean, we're girls. We obviously talk to our friends and ask them, like, what do you think? What do you think? You know? And that's that's cute. And I think it's good because you don't have to just be you by yourself with him. Because I think a first date is really awkward, you know, at times. For certain of us, you just met the person. You've only talked through text. You've never really been one-on-one. -on -one. So a movie night with everybody and he gets to know my best friends is because... I'm the type of girl that I say, like, I'm not like, oh, it's it's me and my girls. Like, you have to take both of us. Like, I'm not like that. But he does need to know where I come from, um, who I hang out with, who am I, honestly, because he only knows who am I. But who am I with my friends and I feel more comfortable with them? I just wanted to be in a very nice atmosphere, I guess. And I don't think he should meet the parents that first date because you don't want to scare him um parents are very scary very intimidating it took i presented my boyfriend to my dad and my, well my parents um after we made a first like after our month like the day we made a month so after talking after started dating a month after he got to meet them and now like they're like best friends and it's kind of funky but whatever i love that and um i do suggest that the farthest you do go and by farthest i mean girl's side is a kiss or kisses you just don't want to be known as easy so make sure 
you set the bar, you set the standards right. Basically, you really do need to, I think it's very important that girls need to know that they need to be themselves. You need to be who you are, not try to be somebody else to make him like you more. You should just be yourself because if he doesn't like you, then it's really not going to work out. At some point, the, the big fuss and the big lie is just going to come out and it's not going to be good. So just be yourself. And if he doesn't like you for who you are, then next. <laughs> I just, I'm the type of person. I think having a good time is really important. Being able to laugh um, at his jokes, being able to smile when he says, like, tells you all these compliments. I love compliments. I am this type of person that I really love compliments. But I love when my boyfriend tells me, like, you look beautiful. And he he's always like, you look beautiful. And I'm like, yeah. But it's just, I guess, after some time, I'm just like, yeah, sure. But I know he means it. So I think having a good time is really important. And be able to open yourself up a little bit to that person. I mean, do not tell him your whole life story. But being able to feel like there's a little bit of trust. I mean, me and him had a date, like like maybe a month and a half after we started talking also one of my biggest pet peeves is that I want to start off a relationship with a good base so I didn't tell him the first week but I guess like the third or fourth week after we started talking I made sure I told him hey listen I'm looking for a serious relationship if you're not up for it I just don't want to get myself involved in something that's not going to lead to where I want it to go so definitely make sure you have standards you set a base up and have a great time you guys I just want you guys to be like Taylor Swift be fearless um and be yourself be beautiful be yourself and just make sure that you have a good time because I don't know. I just, I hope this first date for you is magical, the most meaningful date. I did have a couple of first dates. Well, I had like maybe like one or two, but they were the most magical dates. And with my boyfriend, it was just something different. I really enjoyed myself. It was about like two years ago. So (laughs) I really had a great time and I hope you guys do too. If you guys have any questions or anything, I'm sorry I delayed this video so long. I just wanted it to be perfect for you because I know it's kind of awkward and harsh. But if you have any other questions besides the ones that I did answer in this video, just make sure you comment below. My giveaway is still on, so I hope that you guys do participate because I want as many as I, as many people as I can just so that it's more... How do I say this? Just so it's not like three winners and one that didn't win. So I do want it to bring it up. The giveaway is still on until uh, November 3rd. It's going to be closed November 3rd at 12. Oh, sorry about that. Oof. I just ate. Um, I hope you guys have a great time. And I'm very excited to see pictures of your first date so if you do have pictures make sure that you follow me and on any link and hashtag me jenny cg love you guys thank you so much for watching bye